Okay, today we're going to learn about arithmetic progressions. Okay, the general term for AP is TN equals A plus N minus 1D. Okay, T stands for term, A stands for the first term, okay, and D stands for the common difference. Okay, example, find the eighth term of the arithmetic progression, negative 1, 1, and 3, dot, 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 okay? So, from this progression, we know that A is negative 1, okay? And D is the common difference, yeah? We can use the second term minus the first term, or the third term minus the second term, okay? So, to make it easy, I use the third term minus the second term which is 2. Okay, now we can find the 8 term, okay, by substituting A and D into this formula, yeah. So T8 equals to A plus N minus 1D, okay, we write the formula first, then A is negative 1 plus N, which is 8, 8 minus 1, and the D is 2, okay. So it goes to negative 1 plus 7 times 2. Okay, so negative 1 plus 14. So equals to 13. The second formula that we have to remember for AP is the sum of the first n terms. Okay, the formula is Sn equals n over 2 bracket 2a plus n minus 1d close bracket okay example find the sum of the even numbers between 50 and 100 okay so from this sequence we know that the first even number after 50 is 52 therefore a is 52 okay because all even numbers can be divided by 2, therefore, the common difference is equal to 2. Okay? So, we list down the AP, okay, which is 52, then plus 2, you get 54, 56, okay, and the last term, so the even number before 100 is 98, okay? Yeah, so the last term, Tn, equals to 98. Okay, this is for me to find the n. So Tn is a plus n minus 1, d, equals to 98. So I'm going to substitute my a, okay, into here, and my d into here. Yeah, so 52 plus n minus 1, 2, equals to 98. Okay? So I can open up this bracket, become 2n minus 2 equals 98 minus 52 is 46. Okay, so 2n equals to 48, therefore my n is 24. Okay, so from here, I can find my sn. Okay, so my s24, yeah, equals n over 2, which is 24 over 2, okay, bracket, then 2 a plus n minus 1, which is 24 minus 1, d. So my d is 2. Okay, so you solve this. So 24 over 2 is 12. Okay, so in the bracket, it will be 104 plus 46. Okay, and then you solve it. The final answer is 1,800. The third formula that we have to remember for AP is the sum of the first n terms if the last term is given. Okay, so the formula is Sn equals n over 2 bracket A plus L. Okay, A is the first term, L is the last term. Okay, example, 
Given A is negative 12 and L is 133, the sum of all terms is 1815. Find the number of terms. Okay? So, here is given A and L. And my SN is 1815. Okay? So, I will start off with SN equals to 1815. Okay, so I substitute this formula into my Sn. So n over 2, bracket a plus l, equals to 1850. Okay, so n over 2, bracket negative 12 plus 133, equals 1850. Okay, so n... So in the bracket, the value is 121, okay? So I'm going to move my 2 over to the right-hand side. So I multiply by 2, okay? So it becomes 3,630, okay? So next, to find my n, I move my 121 to the right-hand side. I divide, okay? So 3,630 divided by 121, so equals to 30. So therefore, my n is equal to 30. The first formula to memorize for geometric progressions is Tn equals to a r power n minus 1. Okay? Example, the fourth and the eighth term are 5 and 80 respectively. Fine. A and R. Okay? So from here, my T4 equals to 5 and my T8 equals to AT. Okay? So I'm going to write my T4 over here. So T4 equals to 5. Okay? So from this formula, yeah? If N is 4, therefore my N minus 1 is 3. Okay? So it makes it AR power 3 equals to 5. Okay? And next, my T8 equals to AT. I'm going to write it here. Okay, therefore, AR power 7 equals to 80. Okay, so I have two equations here. First equation, second equation. Okay, I'm going to use my equation 2 divided by equation 1. Okay, so I will get AR power 7 over AR power 3, okay, equals to 80 over 5, okay, which is 16. So I can cancel off my A, so R power 4, okay. So R is equals to 2, yeah. So from here, I need to get my A, okay. I can either substitute my R equals to 2 into equation 1 or equation 2, okay. So to make it easy, I substitute R equals to 2 into equation 1, okay. So A, R, 3 equals to 5. Okay, so A bracket 2 power 3 equals to 5. Therefore, my A is A is equal to 5 over 8. Okay, the next formula that we have to memorize for GP is the sum of the first n terms. Okay, so the formula is S n equals to a bracket r power n minus 1 and whole thing over r minus 1, okay? This is when r is more than 1, okay? It can also be s n, yeah? Equals to a bracket 1 minus r power n over 1 minus r. This is when r is less than 1, okay? Example, what is the least number of terms of the GP, 16, 24, 36, and so on, required for the sum to exceed 2,000? Okay, so for this GP, my A is 16, okay, my R is uh, 24 over 16, which is 1.5, okay? So, my SN, more than 2,000, because they say, to exceed, okay, and the least number of terms. So it's more than 2,000. 
Okay, so since my R is more than 1, okay, therefore I'm using this formula. Okay, so I become A bracket R power N minus 1, whole thing over R minus 1, more than 2000. Okay, I'm going to substitute my A and R into this formula. Become 16 bracket 1.5 power N minus 1 and over 1.5 minus 1. Okay, which makes it Okay, this one will make it 32 1.5 bracket power n minus 1 more than 2000 Okay, so I'm going to bring my 32 over to the right hand side as well as my negative 1 So become 1.5 power n more than 63.5 Okay, because there's a power n, I'm going to put log at both sides Okay, so becomes n more than log 10, 63.5 over log 10, 1.5. Okay, which is 10.2377. Okay, so what is the integer that is more than 10.2377? Okay, therefore the answer n is equals to 11. The last formula that we have to memorize for GP is the sum to infinity. Okay? So, the formula of S infinity is equals to A over 1 minus R. Okay? So example, given A equals to 312 and half and R equals to half. Find the sum to infinity of the progression. Okay? So I'm going to put into this formula. So A is 312 and half. Okay? Over 1 minus my R is half. Okay? So equals to, when you use the calculator, okay, calculate, you will get 600 and 25.